So let's consider the work of a force, and that force is the weight. What is the resulting equation for that? So, as usual, we begin with the fundamental equation, which is the work from point 1 to point 2 is equals to that is the vector notation for the scalar notation that would be f cosine theta ds. So let's add some context before we integrate the equation. So let's consider a reference frame which is rectangular coordinate system. Let's say this is x, this is y, and this is c. So let's consider a, an object or a point which has a weight of course that is directed downward. And the object or particle is moving curvilinearly such that the initial point is higher, uh, lower rather, than its final point. So let's add the position vector R1, position vector R2. This is the origin, and of course, we should have a displacement, small uh, differential uh, displacement. Let's add the the height. Let's say this is the y1 and this is the y2. y2 being higher than y sub 1. Okay, so let's uh, use this part because it's easier to use that compared to the second part. So that would be R1, R2, let's uh, express F in terms of the weight, that would be uh, in terms of X, Y, Z. And since the weight is only directed downward, there are no other components except for Y component. And that would be negative because it is directed downward, W, and then IJ, IJ, J. Ah, uh, yes, J because that would be Y. Okay, so let's add that one, WJ, and of course for the TR, that would be DXI, DYJ, and DZK. So the that product of IJ is equal to zero, the that product of uh, any unit vectors that are perpendicular to each other is equal to zero. That would be IJ zero. Uh, J K zero K I zero. So for I I that would be one J J equals to one and K K equals to one. Because here the angle is ninety degrees, here the angle is zero. And cosine ninety is equals to zero, but cosine zero is equals to one. So what is left now is just uh j and j that would be negative w d y so let's just change the limit into y that would be y sub 1 y sub 2 negative w d y so finally we have uh, negative w delta y so this is the work of a weight it is negative w delta y because it depends on the displacement of the delta y. If the displacement delta y is positive, say this is positive, then the work is negative. It means that the object is moving upward or is displaced upward but since the weight is always downward and they are uh, opposing, then the work is negative. On the other hand, if the displacement is negative, it means uh, it is moving downward and since the weight still is in the downward direction, then they are uh, having the same directions, then the work is positive. The work is only negative if the displacement is uh, opposite to the direction of the force. Okay.